I want to change that question slightly, and um, what I want to what I want to talk about is the positives that the EU's brought. So I think that for Gibraltar, the EU has actually been a very positive story. Um, if we look at um, if we look at the situation with the students, if we look at the situation for businesses, if we look at the situation all round in Gibraltar, um, what the EU has actually brought to us is very positive. We, as students, we go to study in the UK, we pay the same price as UK students, we can then m take advantage of Erasmus years, we can go work in the EU, no problem. Um, all of these things are things which would become significantly harder were we not in the EU. Um, if we look at businesses, for example, um, businesses have also benefited from EU funding. Um, if we look at the financial services sector, the businesses in that sector have taken advantage of the single market, they've taken advantage of passporting rights. We can market ourselves as a jurisdiction, as a foothold into Europe. Um, and that's a very positive message that, that we have in Gibraltar um, since we joined the EU. Our economy is very largely based. Um, on the benefits that the EU has brought us. And of course, as you sort of suggested in that answer, part, if not all of that, would be at risk if there were to be an exit. We also hear, of course, a lot of sabre rattling from Spain, threats that they might close the frontier the day after uh, there were an exit, so all of that is a worry. All of that is a concern. The The issue is that we don't know what it's going to look like um, the day after the vote. So, if, if you know, we, we don't know what the negotiations are going to be like, but we do know that, you know, it, it's not going to be plain sailing um, for us or indeed for the UK um, after that happens. So you know, there is sabre rattling and that is worrying. Um, but I, I think our campaign wants to focus more on you know the benefits that are brought to the EU with all of this you know consciously in our background in the background. And the campaign will gather momentum, I imagine, from now on. You've said that you're intending to open uh, an office in main streets and also to have a fundraising dinner. Can you put some more flesh on those bones that you gave us yesterday? Absolutely. Um, what we're going to do initially is the, our official launch will be on Tuesday in the piazza. So we will be handing out leaflets in the piazza. Anyone that needs information can come um, and talk to us there. We will have premises um, at 192 Main Street. Um, so that's right opposite the cathedral, the old Garcia building, as it's known in Gibraltar. Um, you know, and anyone that needs information on how to register, on you know what the benefits are, on you know what it means to be in the EU, they can come. We will have those premises open daily um, from 9 to 2. Um, they will be manned by volunteers um, and you know anyone that needs any information we hope that we can provide that information to them. We're also having a dinner on Thursday um, the 14th of April at the Sunborn. Um, we are we have a guest speaker who is Sir Simon Hughes uh, who's coming over um, to give a to give a speech on the benefits of the EU again. Um, what we really hope to show at that dinner is a is a show of strength, you know, of, a show of um, of everyone supporting um, the the stronger in campaign in Gibraltar. If we look at this from the other side of the debate, from people who genuinely might think that it's better for Gibraltar to leave the EU, won't those people feel rather intimidated by the force of the Remain campaign and perhaps not dare to voice their opinions? This is a debate. Yeah, This is a debate and um, every uh, people will have different points of view. Um, however, um, I think it's I think it's great for for Gibraltar for Gibraltarians to see the overwhelming support that there is for staying in, because I think that the argument here is very very different to the argument in UK, um, and I think that our reality is that it makes it much more immediate um, why the benefits of the EU are there for us. Um, I think that it's very important for us to start realizing that in Gibraltar actually every vote counts. Um, and, and this is part of the message that we want to get out, yeah? So, of course we want debate, of course, you know, we're happy to debate these issues. Um, but what we really want to realise is that this isn't one where it's going to be carried, right? This is one where, actually, it's so close in the UK that our 23,000 votes in Gibraltar count for something and it could, make a, it could make a massive difference to the campaign. You say that every vote counts and especially in a scenario where the vote may well be close in the UK, the Gibraltar votes may actually make a difference. The reality, of course, is that in terms of numbers, they're very small, almost a drop in the ocean, really. Isn't the real value of a high turnout and a high vote in favour of remaining in the EU here in Gibraltar to put pressure on the UK in the event that they vote to leave? That's very similar to the Scottish um, debate as well, obviously. Um, yes, there is a benefit in that, but I don't think that we can be complacent about the fact that the 23,000 votes here will make a difference and they can make a difference. You know, This isn't uh, the normal European elections. You know, we, we need a huge turnout here. We, you know, we need people to realise how fundamentally important this is. This is. And I, I don't agree that it's a drop in the ocean. I think that this is one that actually we can make a difference with our votes.